Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial where I am going to demonstrate how to install GNS3 in Ubuntu operating system which is running inside VirtualBox. So before installing GNS3 we need to make sure nested virtualization is enabled in Ubuntu operating system. So to enable that we need to execute some Windows command in the host machine. So first we need to go to the directory cd c slash program files slash oracle slash virtual box and here we need to execute vbox manage.exe space first we'll verify the list of VMs we have only one VM running here so now we need to enable virtualization for that for that the command is vbox manage.exe space modify VM space the VM name can copy and paste it or I'll type the value here Ubuntu underscore 22.04 space then hyphen hyphen nested hyphen hardware then virtualization space on we can execute it and now here we should be able to see the changes I can just click on reload settings and now nested virtualization is enabled I'll click on OK and now we should be able to install GNS3 and run the devices else you will be getting an error so you need to make sure that you are executing this command before installing GNS3 now let me start the Ubuntu machine Once the uh, machine is up, we can even initiate an uh, RDP connection. I'll give the username and password. I'll change the resolution. And now I'll try to connect to RDP again. Username is dev. So now it is proper. Now to install GNS3, we can execute the CLI commands you can see this in the GNS3 official document as well sudo apt hyphen add repository ppa colon GNS3 slash pp Now this is going to internet and getting the key. Now I'll update it. Now sudo apt install 
gns3 hyphen gui space gns3 hyphen server so this will be downloading around 100 mb files from internet i'll give yes here so i'll allow no need root user also to capture packet so installation is successful now we'll install even gns3 iou so for that sudo pkg hyphen 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 add architecture space i386 then we'll give one more time update and then sudo apt install gns3 hyphen iou I'll give yes once you have installed it it is better to reboot the machine so now our machine is rebooting one advantage of enabling RDP is because if you expose this to your normal LAN network in a bridge mode you can even RDP to this from any other machine in the LAN now to open GNS3 I can click on applications GNS3 I'll open the server so in case of local server it will be running on 3080 but in the recent GNS3 VM versions this will be running in port 80 that you need to remember but in UI you will be seeing port number 3080 that you need to update while adding the server that I'll show in the later tutorials yeah now here we are anyway setting up only local server so I can select this run appliance on my local computer and port number is 3080 finish and this is having very minimal RAM this is having only 4 GB RAM and 2 CPUs so you can see the CPU utilization so first we need to create a project I'll create a project I will call this local device And in the next lecture, we'll be seeing how to add the bridge and all for all these devices to get connected to each other and enable reachability. But here we will try creating some simple topology. I'll drag and drop a cloud here. And here you can see the two interfaces. One is our NAT interface and another is our host only network. And if you click on the configure, you should be able to see both interfaces and I'll for testing purpose I'll add a PC and I'll connect to cloud the cloud in GNS3 so I'll connect to the host only network I'll switch on this virtual PC this you can use for your connectivity testing and all so it is directly booted up now to set the IP address for this host the syntax is IP space the IP address slash subnet mask and gateway if you want to see the syntax IP space question mark you can give and here you will be able to see an example how to configure IP and my host only network is having 56 range IP so what I'll do, I'll configure that range IP here. IP space 
56 dot I'll give 85 slash 24 and my gateway is host machine 56 dot 1 now let me try pinging to this machine which is 106 my ubuntu machine this is 106 56.106 i'm not able to reach i'll try pinging from ubuntu machine And now let me try pinging from my host machine. Fifty six dot eighty five. But from my host machine, I am able to ping. But I am not able to ping from Ubuntu. Now, if I switch off this, the ping will get dropped. That means my host machine is having reachability. So same way if you add any Cisco device or anything, you will have access from host machine to enable this even from this Ubuntu machine, we need to enable some tap interfaces and bridge interfaces. That is one way of doing it. I will be showing that in the next video.